Hello, it is Friday, July 9th, 2021. Um, my dogs are, they have the zoomies, and they're playing with each other, and they're tearing up my house. So that's what you're going to hear throughout this whole video. Hey, enjoy it. Itty and Snuffy. Like, what? Anyway, um, I wanted to give a little bit of an update, so... I found out during my post-op visit that I only had to take the Lenovox, which is the blood thinner. I only had to take what I had, so what the hospital gave me. It was called a meds to bed, so it was like the pharmacy delivered the medications upstairs to my room before I left. Anyway, um, I only had to take it for like 10 days. Um, I think it was 10 days, regardless. like. This is like, oh, I don't even know if you could actually see it. Yep. Yeah. I'm officially done with that. So I'm super excited. I don't have to do it for a month. Thank God. But I am upping my walks. Um, yesterday. Oh, see, now they're going to fight on me. I love it when they do that. Stop. Snuffy. Anyway, um, I upped my walks. I was trying to do anywhere from two to three walks a day, uh, just try to at least get some in, um, better some than none. Um, however, since I know that I'm not taking the blood thinner anymore, um, just, well, and it's supposed to help with pain and it's supposed to still keep me on track to lose weight, so forth and so on. Um, yeah, so I upped my walk. So yesterday I took four. 15 to 17 minute walks. Um, I did quite a bit yesterday. Um, today I was able to make three in because apparently everybody in my house is getting sick and I don't know if I just really overdid it and I'm sore and I don't feel so good or they're spreading their goodness with me. Anyway, cause I noticed that, um, my back is hurting, which it hasn't been hurting thus far since I, um, since I came back from surgery. It hasn't really been giving me, I've been pretty easy. And then the legs, that, that's normal. That's walking, 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 big people walking. You're going to have wear and tear. You're going to have this soreness and da, da, da. But also my abdomen kind of where my incisions are kind of, I wouldn't say hurt, but kind of they're sore and I don't know that's the neighbors. Anyway, I don't know if it's because I'm getting more feeling it's the, cause I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's see. This one's the biggest one. That's the one they took the stomach out of and it's a little sore, but these were never, these never gave me any problems or any pain up until now so um so yeah i just assume it's because maybe i'm overdoing it a little bit which wouldn't surprise me um i'm trying to stay on track um so i don't get behind on my schooling i have two more classes for the end of this period or this end of actually just the end altogether until i decide to go for my rn um because I'll have my medical assistant, my MA, I think it's like registered MA or certified MA that, um, that I'll have at the end of August. I just have to test and then that's it. And then hopefully I can go back to work and everything will be good and copacetic. Anyway, um, I won't, I'm very long winded. I'm sorry. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying not to get uh, behind on that. I'm trying to walk as much as I can. The heat is kicking my butt like something severe and so I actually I don't know why all of a sudden it dawned on me I was like hey you know what would help in the extreme weather that I cannot stand it's making I'm sweating in places I don't want to be sweating while I'm recovering and I'm achy and anyway it's just it makes it worse treadmill absolute treadmill however I have no place to put it in my house and I know I could put it like, no, not allowed to have exercise equipment out on the porch, even though other people do. Um, I don't have a lot of space anywhere. 
for a treadmill, but I think it would be very beneficial to me. And then I could be on top of those walks as much as I can be. And then I don't have to go throughout the neighborhood and I don't know, I just don't like it up here. So they're raising our rent again. I already um, complained about it. They're raising our rent again. At that point, considering we have no amenities whatsoever, except for we do have rusty baseboard heaters. I guess we got that. But we have no dishwasher, no air, you know, central air. It's all window air conditioners that we paid for. Um, no garbage disposal, no carpet, period. Except for the rug in my living room. Um, I have like jail tile in my, throughout my entire place. Anyway, I have no amenities. They're going to have it boosted up so much that I might as well be somewhere else. So I'm going to try... And it's hard because you have to have so much money down all at the same time, um, which is the part that gets us. But I need to get out of here. We need space. Um, I just, I haven't been happy here for a very, very long time. Neither has my family, but it's been a roof and um, we'll take it as it comes that we hate moving. And like right now I'm healing. So moving would be one more stressor. Um, uh, other than that, I think... Um, everything's going good other than then everybody trying to get us sick and give it to me anyway my blood pressure is good um, I know that's random my blood pressure is good I was supposed to start my blood pressure medicine again today normally but um, it was like 138 over 88 which is the best it's been in years um, also, I am down I calculated my highest was 303 pounds um, so since then, I have lost 29.4, yes, I count the ounces, 29.4 pounds since my highest. Um, I am now down to 273.6. Um, I have a long ways to go, um, but this is only going on week two. I mean, hey, I'll take it as it comes. So, and, and there's going to be a lot of changes. I'm going to have to learn how to eat different and I'm going to have to learn how to do portion different. I'm already thinking about Thanksgiving dinner and no, I don't mean like overdoing it and it being horrible. I'm thinking like, I want to get a little tiny plate and put like an olive, like a little strip of turkey. Like how can I make it where I can eat it, enjoy it and still have it the same as everybody else. Anyway. Um, this is long enough already. I just wanted to give you guys an update, let you know how things are going. Sorry, I'm like itchy. Anyway, but um, everything's going good. No more blood thinners. Boop, boop. And not as many meds. Boop, boop. Like, everything is getting better. Um, I know the walks are hard. It'll get easier. Well, it hasn't yet, but I know I know it's coming. Anyway, thanks for um, following every this journey with me. I mean, this is all very obviously brand new. I've never done this before. Anyway, um, I will get back to you guys when I can, um, amongst everything else. Um, and I hope you have a blessed evening and bye.